The teaching service commission needs to be revamped and function more as a body that monitors teachers rather than appoints them to schools. Retired chairman of the Teaching Service Commission, Dr. Fazal Ibrahim Ali, made the recommendation at Wednesday's National Consultation on Education. He said in a future state, the Teaching Service Commission should not be responsible for hiring or disciplining teaching staff. That is how it is in England. The principal is picking the team. Why can't the principal interview the people, see, oversee the discipline of the staff? The hiring, the firing, the everything, the promotions, everything. And the commission is monitoring because you have to understand the culture of the school. Members of the public applying to be a teacher must go through the Teaching Service Commission. However, the placement process is known to take as long as six years. Dr. Ali said the Ministry of Education needs to cease immediately taking in walk-in applications from the public. We have 141 secondary schools. And if you add the private secondary to that, you will reach 158 roughly. And you have 550 primary schools. The output from the universities, there is no way the education system can absorb that. Established under the Education Act of 1966, the Teaching Service Commission appoints, promotes, transfers, disciplines, and enforces standards of conduct in the teaching service. Dr. Ali suggested that the government make much needed legislative amendments to the Education Act. It's too old. And simply doing small amendments like little patches and so on, that will not do. We need a proper Education Act from ABC to PhD.